Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss in detail about the structural activity relationship as well as uses of salicylates. Salicylates are derivatives of 2-hydroxy benzoic acid and it comes under the class of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Let's begin with the first point, structure activity relationship of salicylates and here, here is the structure of salicylic acid. So the carboxylic group is essential for showing the activity. Substitution on either the carboxyl or phenolic hydroxy group may affect the potency and toxicity. The derivatives of salicylic acid were introduced to prevent the gastric symptoms and the undesirable taste of common salts of salicylic acid. Reducing the acidity of the COH group, example the corresponding amide which retains the analgesic action of salicylic acid but is devoid of anti-inflammatory properties. So example is salicylamide. This structure is of salicylamide and which having a good analgesic action but it doesn't show any anti-inflammatory action. Placing the phenolic hydroxy group meta or para to the carboxyl group which abolishes the activity. So here in salicylic acid the hydroxy group is to the ortho position to that of COH group but if you change the position to meta or to para position then it will gives a inactive compound. It doesn't show any activity. Substitution of halogen atom on aromatic ring enhances potency and toxicity. Suppose to the salicylic ring, salicylic acid ring, if you introduce halogen atoms like fluorine, chlorine, then it will produce a enhanced potency. At the same time, it produces toxicity. Substitution of aromatic ring at the fifth position of salicylic acid which increases anti-inflammatory activity. Example is diflunisal. Here is the structure of diflunisal which having a substitution to fifth position, substitution of 2,4-difluorophenyl and it produces a very good anti-inflammatory action. Now next one is the uses of salicylates. Salicylates or derivatives of salicylic acid which can used to produce analgesic, antipyretic as well as anti-inflammatory action. It can be also used to promote the excretion of uric acid and therefore useful in the treatment of gouty arthritis. In gouty arthritis, there is a deposition of uric acid in joints. So with the help of these salicylates, we promote the excretion of this deposited uric acid and therefore it is useful in treatment of gouty arthritis. Next one is, it can be inhibits platelet aggregation. This platelet aggregation which may contribute to heart attacks and strokes and hence due to inhibition of platelet aggregation, we reduce the risk of myocardial infarction. Lastly, it can be a, also used. The recent study suggested that aspirin and other NSAIDs might be protective against colon cancer. So all these are the uses of salicylates. Hope all of you are getting the structural activity relationship as well as the uses of salicylates. Thank you and happy learning.